Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be explaining about how to create many to many mapping along with additional attributes in the linking table. In the in a, in a previous video, I explained how to uh, do data insertion into a many to many mapping and there the linking table only had the IDs of the to let's say to parent entities so in this case it will be the vehicle id and the custom id as a composite key. so many to many annotation will take care of creating the linking table but when you have attributes the additional attributes in the linking table spring cannot handle by uh, using the many to many annotation for that we have to create a new entity for the linking table so let's before that we have to create a composite key for the uh, linking table so let's as the ID and was that it to get We annotate this uh, ID clause as embeddable. Yeah, okay, system. And let's name the primary keys for this composite ID customer ID and the vehicle. And let's create headers and setters. And also, you should remember we need to override the request method and the hash code, hash code method. And we can use IntelliJ to that. Next, next, next. And we have nice. Right. Right. So we have the composite uh, key. Now we have to create the entity. Let's name it as cell and yes, very quickly. And here we have to make it name it as the entity. Okay, okay. it will uh spring will identify it as entity. And normally in the first line we create the ID. In this case also we create the ID, but it is a composite ID which is our cell ID and how do you tell that this is a composite ID is using this annotation embedded ID and remember you have to initialize this ID right next we have to tell spring that there are two tables that we are linking here which is the customer, customer table and the vehicle table how do you tell and these are mappings from other tables is using annotations like many to many one to many like this in this case the linking table will have a many to one mapping for the pair of tables so here it will be a many to one mapping to to the parent table and i will use this maps id annotation tell that you that spring need to map this customer with the uh, uh, customer table when uh, inserting and uh, fetching data so it will be the product id of the product class oh uh, sorry customer id of the customer class and uh, let's rename the column for in the linking table as 
ID. And same thing we should be added to the vehicle as well. The vehicle ID. ID as the column name. So this is the additional attribute that we are going to add to the linking table. Uh, it is for me. It will be this comment, right? So let's add the headers and setters, and done. So. Let's go to the customer table and make the relationship here. It will be collection of not vehicles, it will be a collection of sales. Sales and I'll initialize it as an array list. And from this side, it will be a one to me. And if you keep it like this way, now Spring will create another table. And um, to stop that, we have to say, we have to tell Spring that uh, mapping will be handled by a customer attribute. Get customer attribute in the sales table. Right? And also add a cascade type. And let's add the data sensor And same thing will be added to the vehicle table as well. So I it is and private a collection of cells and list and paste this. The mapping will be handled by the attribute. Let's add the getters and setters. Yeah. Okay. Let's run this and verify that there will be one linking table with the additional attribute. have an error uh, composite ID class must be implement serial oh uh, I'm sorry I forgot to tell that uh, this ID class should implement serial serializer so and running let's refresh this and we have the customer table, we have the vehicle table, and we have the sale table with customer ID, vehicle ID, and the additional attribute discount. Right. Now we have the setup here. Let's insert some data. And uh, for that I have created a vehicle service class to get the vehicle ID. And the customer service, we are going to edit this to insert data, right? I have to add some vehicles so the customer can uh, borrow them. So let's add some vehicles. So let's create a customer, a new customer, and uh, this customer, sale customer method, uh, brings a customer from the front end. For, for now, it will be my postman. So it will have something like this. Let's say this is five and this is right. Okay, so this will be added. 
this will be available in the customer variable so i am going to create a new customer that means at least uh, that needs to be added to the database so it is a new customer and uh, new customer dot let's set the name get the name of the customer and uh, new customer dot set customer id we don't know the customer it will be automatically generated uh, by spring by the database and uh, we have to set the cells but before setting the cells i need to get um, to set the cells i need to get the cells from the customer so customer get cells here i'll use java streams to stream map each uh, what do you call it each cell to my new customer object so let's make cell and uh, vehicle service uh, provide and get the cell dot get vehicle dot get vehicle ID so from the from the front end I'm only sending the vehicle ID so I have to get the uh, full object from the database now I have the vehicle, so I have to create a new cell. Cell ID to be generated. We have to set the vehicle. This in cell dot set uh, customer, which is our new customer. Uh, new cell dot set discount, and we can get discount from uh, customer is passed to the save customer function get discount right then we just need to return okay then we need to collect and collect as a list collect list right so we have a new customer created then we just need to Save the customer so that we need to use the customer repository and save the customer. When returning the new customer, it will return a customer object. There it will contain cells, contain cells, and also each cell contain each cell contain a customer. the vehicle so I don't know I don't need that so I'll ignore the vehicle JSON dot get sales dot arrow Not vehicles, it should be sales. 
so <clears throat> I need to change this and send this and we have the and I guess If we have the result and if you want to check it with the database we have the user added we have the to sales added and that's how you do it and thank you for watching have a nice day